Hello folks, I'm going to spare you the pain of the last recording. Here we go. Take two. Honda motorcycle engine is the future of personal aircraft power plant for several reasons. This is Jeff McNeil podcast for December 18th, 2009. Hello, welcome. Here we go. We got the coffee. And then we got some Torley. Okay. Uh, redundant array of inexpensive disks. RAID is very is a familiar concept to um, people working in CIO um, information systems in off in offices, right? So your server doesn't have one big disk like your your home computer might. It has many disks, and we use RAID, uh, which actually is a software or hardware or both solution that manages multiple disks. So that if one goes bad, you don't lose data. Actually, it's, it's spread across all the other disks as well. So there's redundancy, and these are inexpensive disks by definition. So instead of one big expensive disk, multiple little disks managed effectively is actually more reliable and less expensive and uh, provides the services needed. I have this idea that we can use the same concept with engines, right? So for, for certain kinds of flight, not, of course, jet engines. You lose an engine, you're pretty much going to crash and die if you're at any height, right? But for um, wing and ground, which is a very close to the uh, to the landing surface, and using um, gyro rotation, auto gyro, uh, where you can actually drift or glide to a landing, why not use a redundant array of inexpensive engines, right? This was dramatically lower price. Um, this is likely more reliable because you can lose, you know, two thirds or three fourths or, no, I'm sorry, you can lose like one fifth, one fourth, maybe one third of your engines and still have no problem whatsoever. You could lose all your engines and actually have no problem, but you might be stuck somewhere, right, where you don't want to be. So that's one of the reasons why uh, the use of the Honda motorcycle engine may in fact be the future. There's a couple others. One is the cost is extremely low. So if I want to get a Rotex 477, 40 horsepower, uh, what I need to do is uh, pay about six thousand dollars new. I can get one off eBay for you know two, three thousand dollars. Then I have to import that into Thailand, and then nobody can work on it because they haven't seen it before. All the parts have to come from somewhere else, right? Locally sourced, the Honda 125 and 110i, the fuel injected PGM FIs are made here in Thailand. In fact, they're being uh, exported, or re-imported, I guess, exported from Thailand Honda to Honda Japan and sold there. Also, we've got emissions issues, right? We, we are living in a, in a world that needs greener solutions, okay? So uh, with the eyes, you've got, you know, they're, they're operating at like one quarter of the emissions uh, volume that they could. Um, they're, so they're extremely low emitting um, and also more fuel efficient than the carbureted models. So th these are some wonderful aspects of these motorcycle engines for, for flight, for certain kinds of flight, really highly viable. Now it's true, the, the, the weight to horsepower ratio is going to be probably um, worse. Uh, and we have to have multiple things there for multiple propellers or some kind of belt system that they can all drive. So there's some engineering we have to do on that side, right? So we have to make the crap lighter in other ways, special materials. But we solve some other problems that, that are much harder to solve, which would be better emissions, uh, lower cost, so locally sourcing. I mean, the, the engines can cost 40, 50% of the vehicle for an airplane, um, at least 30%. So it's a huge chunk that we can take care of and deal with. Um, also, though, we can create some intellectual property around those connections between the motorcycle engine and, you know, either some gearbox or some kind of belt system. That's where our intellectual property can be there and a few other places, right? Uh, but the uh, ability of any any motorcycle mechanic, which is probably half the country, to work on these kinds of vehicles is just a fantastic advantage. So, um, the, here are the reasons we've got. Um, 
Uh, Honda Motorcycle Engine is the future of personal aircraft for a variety of reasons. And this is, uh, I feel, having looked at this carefully and, and looking at, you know, the simplicity of using an already prepared engine that can be coupled to a nice propeller, um, the costs are just, they're really high. And cost is one of our big factors. We've got to do a one-tenth, right? We've got to lower these costs by a factor of ten or somewhere in that neighborhood. And here's how we're going to do it. Okay, this has been Jeff McNeil. Uh, this is... Uh, it's the 18th of December 2009. Cheers.